In this pencast, we will be drawing a plane given its indices. Now for this top unit cell, we will be sketching the bar 1, 0, 1 plane. Now the first step in solving this is to choose the origin. Because there is a bar in the indices, we will have to move the origin one unit in the direction of the bar in order to keep the plane within the unit cell. So our new origin will be 1, 0, 0, and that will be located right here in the front corner of the unit cell. Now we will call this new origin O prime, and to go along with it, there will be a new X prime axis, a new Y prime axis, and a new Z prime axis. Now the next step is to change any bars in the indices to negatives. So bar 1 will become negative 1, but both 0 and 1 will remain the same. Now the next step is to take the reciprocals of these indices in order to find the intercepts. So we will take 1 over our x indice, which is negative 1, and that will give us our x prime intercept of negative 1. We will take 1 over our y indice, which is 0, and that will give us our y prime intercept of infinity. And finally, we will take 1 over our um, z indice, which is 1, and that will give us our z prime intercept of 1. Now the next step will be to mark these intercepts on the unit cell. So for our x intercept, sorry, so for our x prime intercept, we will start at our new origin, and we will travel one unit in the negative x prime direction, which will place our intercept right here. Now for our y prime intercept, because it is infinity, we will just draw an arrow pointing to infinity to designate that the intercept is at infinity. And now for our z prime intercept, we will go back to our new origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive z prime direction, which will place our intercept right here. Now the last step will be to draw the plane. So we will draw the face diagonal connecting between the x and z intercepts. And because the um, y intercept is at infinity, we will extend the plane out in the y direction. So both of the points will be extended out in the y direction like so. And because the plane will intercept the um, right face of the unit cell, we will draw the line where it intercepts it, which should look like this. Now all that's left to do is shade in the plane, and you should see it beginning to take shape. And there you have it. That is how to draw the bar 1, 0, 1 plane. Now for this bottom unit cell, we will be sketching the 0, 1, 1 plane. Because there are no bars in these indices, the origin will remain at 0, 0, 0, which will be right here in the back corner of the unit cell. Now the next step will be to change any um, bars in the indices to negatives. Because there are no bars in the indices, they will remain as 0, 1, 1. Now our next step is to take the reciprocals of these numbers. So we will take 1 over the x indice, which is 0, and that will give us our x-intercept infinity. We will take 1 over our y-intercept, which is 1, and that will give us our... Sorry, we will take 1 over our y-indice, which is 1, and that will give us our y-intercept, 1. And finally, we will take 1 over our z-indice, which is 1, and that will give us our z-intercept, 1. Now the next step is to mark these intercepts on the unit cell. Um, so for our x-intercept, uh, because it is at infinity, we will... Um, draw a line in the x direction uh, to note that the um, plane extends to infinity. Now for our y-intercept, um, we will start at our origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive y direction, which will place our intercept right here. And for our z-intercept, we will go back to the origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive z-direction, which will place our intercept right here. Now all we have to do is draw the plane. So we will draw the face diagonal connecting the z and y intercepts. And now because the plane extends out in the um, x direction, we will extend both of the points out in the x direction. And as you can see, the plane will cut through this front face of the unit cell. So we will draw the line where it intercepts it. And now all that's left to do is shade in the plane. And you should see it begin to take shape. And there you have it. That is how to draw the 011 plane. 
If you have any further questions, make sure to visit our YouTube channel, Materials Concepts. Thanks for watching.